heading towards Hawker. I think it's still a Kidman Way. Magnificent roads along here. The country's getting bare. The, the, um, you come across these old buildings, quite a few of them, that um, fallen into tough times. But it's um, a beautiful drive through here. Creek. There's a bit of Flinders Ranges. It's just for grazing land. People down south with the lovely green pastures would know how to survive here. Keep the plains. When you're travelling, these uh, gibber plains. They come across these lovely creek beds. They're really a good spot to stop for lunch or a rest. There's nothing much about but lovely shade. Just pulled up here for lunch. Lovely shady spot. Lunch break on the way to Lee Creek. Not for the dogs, it's just a rest for them. Beautiful spot here. Remnants of old Gain Bridge going across this creek. Centre of town at Lee Creek. Very neat and tidy here. Coming into Mari. Very desolate town. The old line you can see in yellow that was closed in 1980. That's a one as kids we would have gone on quite a few times, and that went through Marie and that. And then the new line opened in 1980, and was mainly to dodge all the floods because the uh, the old line kept on getting flooded around the Lake Eyre area, and it um, went to Alice Springs, of course, the new line, and then the continuation to Darwin. Uh, that line was opened in 2004. Murray is where the train had to change from a narrow track to a wider track. Uh, the wider track was down south. Um, they had the wider track for the extra weight for coal for, to Lee Creek and the cattle. And the, um, the narrow track went to north to Alice Springs. So I remember as kids we had to wait a while while they changed trains to the, um, if you were, depending which way you're going, to either the narrow or the, the wide track. And so we waited at the station. Extract from the Pioneer Camel Years of Marie. Camels opened up the great central expanses of Australia. For more than 50 years until the 1920s, camel trains radiated into the outback from the railways. They gradually extended into the interior, or from the points near otherwise isolated, inaccessible parts of the country. In long strings of up to 70, they sustained human life 
and new endeavours in emerging outback communities. They carried building and railway materials, food, furniture, water, mail and medicine to the pastoralist and mining benches, returning with products of those inland enterprises, bale wool and oil. Camel cartage bases were formed at railway heads or near ports, and Afghan towns developed on their outskirts. They became known as Gan towns. What a tough lot they would have been. Tom Cruise did the mail run between Maori and Birdsville. There's an old film of him doing it. So he had a great time th through the sand hills and that. Original old hotel at Bari. I think we stayed at that pub occasionally while the train took a fair while to load up cattle from local stations and things, fill up with water. Lake Air South. No water in it. nestled below these sand hills. They just suddenly appeared from the gibber stones. Early morning before seven at a camp just before William Creek. Magnificent time of the morning. Super quiet, except for my brother walking around. It goes, it goes silly in the sand. Oh, you put yourself on video. Lovely red sand hill. Beautiful colour. Colours, marks in the sand, the way the wind blows it. The sun's in the wrong spot. Interesting pattern.
This this sand hill is probably about 30 or 40 foot high. Magnificent bit of sand here.